The criminal trial of a former Nicholas Mattiello campaign aide is underway. Jeff Byrd is accused of illegally funneling money to fund a controversial mailer to help the House Speaker's re-election campaign in 2016. Today, prosecutors began their case. Target 12 investigator Tim White was inside the courtroom today and is live tonight with the details. Tim? Mike and Shannon, in many ways, the underbelly of Rhode Island politics was front and center in courtroom 4E here at Kent County Superior Court, dissecting how a relatively inexpensive campaign mailer could mushroom into a money laundering case. Longtime political operative Jeff Britt leaving after the first day of trial. He's accused of funneling money to former Republican candidate Shauna Lawton to fuel this political mailer, the campaign flyer supporting Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello in 2016. I want to say Lawton was the first to take the stand. Prosecutor John Marrera asking her about a meeting she had with Britt after she lost in the Republican primary. There was a mention about a mailer at that meeting. A mention of you doing a mailer? Yes. To support Speaker Mattiello? Yes. Entered into evidence two checks written for $1,000 each. Lawton says Britt handed those over at a coffee shop meeting to fund the mailer. Uh, at that meeting, there I received um, the donations. On cross examination, Britt's attorney, Robert Carenti, questioned Lawton's in credibility, six. noting she in wasn't six. honest back in 2016 in an interview no. with WPRO's Dan York and understand. to the Board of Elections when she initially denied she was coordinating with the Mattiello campaign. No, that was a mistake. Well, it was the same mistake you made on Dan York, where you said a bunch of things that weren't true, right? Correct. Now, Lawton struck a deal with the state to avoid prosecution if she testified truthfully before the grand jury. Coming up new at 6, hear from a self-described mail ballot expert in his role in the 2016 Mattiello campaign with the Target 12 investigators Tim White, 12 News. Rhode Island politics are front and center in the criminal trial of Jeffrey Britt. He's the former campaign aide to Speaker Nicholas Mattiello, charged with money laundering and a campaign finance violation. Britt's accused of orchestrating a scheme to pay for a controversial mailer supporting Mattiello in 2016. Target 12 investigator Tim White was in the courtroom today and joins us now live from Warwick with the details. Tim. Mike and Shannon, a court spokesperson tells me this is the first criminal trial the state has seen since the start of the pandemic. And while it's a former campaign aide to Speaker Mattiello that is on trial, it is Rhode Island politics that's front and center. Former political aide to Nicholas Mattiello, Jeff Britt, leaving after the first day of trial. He's accused of funneling money to former Republican candidate Shauna Lawton to fuel this political mailer. The campaign flyer supporting Democratic House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello in 2016. Lawton testified she met Britt after losing in the Republican primary, and he approached her about supporting Mattiello. There was a mention about a mailer at that meeting. A mention of you doing a mailer? Yes. To support Speaker Mattiello? Yes. I've been doing mail ballots since the 70s. The second witness, a self described mail ballot expert, Edward Cotunio. He recalls being asked a favor by Britt and political aide Matthew Jerzyk. Hey, Jeff asked me, hey, would you mind writing a check for Sean Alon? After the mailer came out, Cotunio says it hit the fan. He said the Mattiello campaign initially wasn't worried. Nothing's going to happen. It's all going to go away. It's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. Did you well, it turns out to be something. Now, Coutinho still works for the Mattiello campaign. He says he makes $6,000 a month plus expenses. Now, this is called a bench trial. There is no jury. Ultimately, Judge Daniel Procassini will decide Britt's fate. We're told the trial should last one week. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.